Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about the constants lit or literals, operators, punctuators, or separators. Okay. Let us discuss the constant or literals. Okay. We already discussed the data and the data bearing certain value. Okay. And the value need to be changed always be inside the program. But when there is a case or conditions where the value is always remain fixed. That is called as a constant during the whole execution of the program. It will never change. Okay, just like if I am taking a data called student mark and it is 50 always, then it is a constant. I assign the student mark as 50. Then the 50 fixed always be it is having the student mark is 50. That is known as a constant. It will never change in the program. Okay, Java supports. The following type of constant, you just look at here on the screen. That is the numeric constant, non-numeric constant, boolean constant and the null constant. Individually, we have to discuss the numeric constant again divided into integer and real. Non-numeric, it is divided into character and string and the boolean and the null. Okay. So, first we discuss what is the numeric constant. Okay. Numeric, all of you understand that is the number. Okay, which is the consist of 0 to 9 point symbols plus or minus all these are coming under the numeric constant. Okay, so the numeric constant again uh, divided into what integer and real. So what is integer constant? Integer are the value which present whole number only. No fraction, no decimal, nothing. Okay, only the integer value, the whole number. Okay, that have a um, positive or negative value. Okay, that uh, contains no sign. Okay, represent a positive value. Uh, by default, if a number having no sign, that is by default it is positive number. P is equal to 78. That means positive plus 78. Okay. And if you want to represent any negative number, the negative symbol we have to give. It is known to everybody. Okay. And the cons uh, that uh, range of integer constant it is the ranges of integer. It is given um, minus 2 to the power 31 to plus 2 to the power 31 minus 1. Okay. So, only you can remember the integer constants are the whole number. Positive to negative. Okay. Suppose uh, if your uh, numeric constant or integer constant, uh, if it is a long type. Uh, you later part you when you will discuss the data type you understand what is the meaning of long or unsigned if your numeric constant are long or unsigned then it should be attached or suffix with l or u in the example you just look at here 24969l if it is l is attached so that means it is what type of data it is the long type of data if it is attached with the u then it is um, on sign type of data okay so that is the type of data we have to discuss later okay now discuss the real constant real constant is nothing but what floating point constant okay this represents the value with the decimal point all of you know that is the decimal number okay the number uh, having the decimal point okay it can be written either in the fractional or exponent form. Okay. Then uh, the real constant with no sign is considered to be positive. It is signed and unsigned again. So signed means that will be negative sign. Okay. Uh, no sign means that is the positive number. Okay. Now you just uh, see the example. Who are the valid real constant? 12.31 minus 7.90. All these are your what? The real constant. Okay. While writing real constant, always uh, follow the rule that real constant in the fractional form. Okay. And must have at least one digit before and after the decimal point. Okay. If you have a uh, 0.50, that is also a real constant. Okay. So, decimal, before decimal, there must be a digit. And after decimal, there must be a digit for the real constant. Okay. Let us discuss the non-numeric constant or alphanumeric constant. Before discussing, you must know what is the non-numeric values or alphanumeric value. The data which bearing a character, string, some special symbol, then they are called as a non-numeric data or alphanumeric data. Okay. So, uh, which does not contain the number. 
Now you see what is the character constant. With the character constant is the constant which bearing a single character enclosed in a single code. What it means enclosed in a single code? For example, suppose if my data is section and it is assigned a value A, then how I have to write? Section is equal to A within single quotes. Okay. Remember the string when we uh, assigned with to the data, then it will enclose with the double quotes. Okay. Then now Java allows some non-graphic character as a character constant. What is the meaning of non-graphic character? Those character which cannot type directly from the keyboard. They will be backspace, tab, new line, etc. Okay. And how will you have to represent it? That will be represent through the escape sequence. Now, what is escape sequence? Another video I will give you on the escape sequence. Okay, just a little bit information I am giving here. The escape sequence are uh, the character preceded by the backslash is called a escape sequence. Okay, and it has a some special meaning. So the compiler by seeing when it is have any character uh, preceded by the backslash, it will be taken as a uh, some special character. Okay, and it has a some special meaning. Okay, for example, suppose if I am typing N on the screen, N is only alphabet, it will be printed on the screen. Okay, but if I proceeded with the big slash, compiler uh, interpreted in the different way. It has to take as a uh, escape sequence. Okay, instead of printing N, it will the cursor move to the next, next line. Okay, so it has to escape from what, uh, from doing what it is supposed to do. First, it, what it has to supposed to do? The print N, but it is escape from that. It will move the cursor to the next line. Okay. Now, look at this table. This is the uh, example of the escape sequence. You can see slash N is used for the new line entry. Slash T for the tab space. In a sentence, if you want to give space, then you have to use slash T. Slash double quotes, just like if you want to use double quotes in a sentence, then you have to use slash double quotes. Okay, so detail I will explain in the next video. Now discuss the boolean constant. Don't be confused with the boolean word. When you learn the data type, you will learn what is the meaning of boolean. Okay, just remember boolean constant store logical value that is true or false. Okay, when the certain condition which having the possibilities of two value, you have to use the boolean constant. And you re um, remember that boolean constant and either true or false are never be enclosed within the quotes. What it does means in the earlier part we discussed the character constant and string constant enclosed the single or double quotes. Okay, it's, uh, it is look like a string constant but still it is due to boolean. It will not enclosed within the quotes. Okay, now next comes to the null constant. Null constant means when any data does not having any value then it is having a null value. Okay, so that is means null constant. It's bearing a null constant. Okay. You just see when in generally what we think when a data does not having any value that means it is blank or zero but it is not like that in Java in any data does not contain any value then it is the null value. So it has a null constant it is generally used in the on in slash state that what is the meaning of on in slash state that later you have to learn about it okay. Now discuss what is operator. There is separate video I will make for you. What is operator? Little information I am giving here. Operator is nothing but a special symbol. And which is doing certain specific operation on the operands. What is operands? Operands is the data which is involved in the operation. The operation means the arithmetic operation, relational operation, logical operation, all those things. Okay. So the operand of an operator, operator always be evaluated from the left to right. You know the mathematics, okay? So they can be variable or the constant. You just see certain uh, operator symbol, the arithmetic operator. There is plus, minus, multiplication, division. What is assignment operator equal to all other operator? You just look at here from the table. We have to discuss it later in brief way in the another video, okay? Now see what is punctuator or separator, okay? We already know that um, in the Java program, we have to use the punctuator and the separator, okay? The punctuator and separator, that is nothing but a special symbol, okay? And uh, in Java, the punctuator are used for grouping and separating the data value written in a Java program. 
okay the separator are shown in the table you just see uh, just parenthesis okay anything if you write in the um, within the parenthesis uh, that is uh, used in the java program they are also used to define the precedence of operator in an expression okay precedence you understood plus minus multiplication division everything will be used there so we have to make um, make a group of them by giving the parenthesis okay now braces that is the curly braces which is used to define a code block okay square bracket that is used for the declaring an array semicolon is there which will be used to end a sentence or statement okay comma is used which will be separate the consecutive identifier in a variable declaration okay so the dot the period is used to access the member variable and method so the detail use of all those things you will know when you start writing the program okay. i hope all of you understood what is constant or literals what is integer constant real constant okay what is the correct non numeric constant or alpha numeric constant okay operators and punctuator separators in my next video i will explain you the escape sequence and operators thank you